If he was not anti-establishment, why does the establishment try to put him in prison for 500 years? So, and, if, hold, and, on uh, well, hold on a second. Today, we're going to be checking out Charles Kevin Springs around Trump's hater. Guys, this is going to be amazing. Please vote for Trump. Like, I really believe that I need to, like, print vote for Trump in my shirt and, like, change my logo to vote for Trump. Like, I honestly believe he deserves to win, but, like, Story for another thing. Let's get straight into this. So I, I do have massive disagreements with you, but I do want to thank you for coming and speaking with us because I don't agree with people trying to silence you from speaking. I don't think that's right. So thank you for coming and speaking with us. Um, this I don't really understand this idea that uh, President Trump is anti-establishment because I think his record shows that he's actually really establishment. So just a couple examples like he took uh, Barack Obama's drone strikes, which had a 90% uh, civilian casualty rate, and you know it was a bunch of war crimes that Barack Obama committed with that, killed innocent civilians and everything. Trump took that, and he increased Obama's drone strikes by 432%. And even his first raid as president, um, the raid in Yemen killed an eight-year-old American girl. And like another example, he filled his cabinet with like war hawks like John Bolton, who's never met a war he didn't like. That's true. A swamp swampy people like Alexander Acosta who he was literally the guy that like brokered the sweetheart deal for Jeffrey Epstein so I just I don't get the and even his voting record like Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer they voted with him like 78% well, so of the time Liz Cheney voted Chris, 90% yes, thanks sorry. for being here let me challenge you because yeah. there's a pretty obvious point here if he was <laughs> if he was not anti-establishment why does the establishment try to put him in prison for 500 years so and, if, hold, and on uh, well, hold on a second hold on a second yeah, yeah. And by the way, on this drone thing, yeah, he might have continued drone programs. Did he not try to end the Afghan war? In fact, he was the only one in the room trying to end the war in Afghanistan. And finally, if he was pro-establishment, how many new wars were started under Donald Trump? Well, so for the, um, the establishment trying to lock him up, um, I do think there's legitimate crimes there. We can disagree on that. But I do agree that the yeah, establishment... Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to disagree on that. I do agree that the establishment, it, it is a politically motivated thing because... I don't. I think if he decided not to run, they wouldn't be going after him. So I do think it's pretty, but I don't think it changes the fact that those are legitimate crimes. But I don't think the establishment is scared of his, like how he would govern. What the establishment hates more about Donald Trump is that, like, he, whenever he's like running for president, he exposes the corruption in the establishment, and he has a way of making it seem like he's not part of them while while playing the game while governing. So I don't think they're so scared. Okay, so let's record. talk about three policy issues. Yes. What is the establishment regime position on trade? The establishment? Unlimited amount of trade, foreign products coming in, free trade. What was Trump's position? Tariffs on China? Yeah. Right? Renegotiating NAFTA. What is the establishment position on global-type contracts? For example, Paris Peace Treaty. Trump got out of it, right? Blew up all this stuff at the U.N. How about another issue? Immigration. What is the regime standard position on immigration. Invade the world, invite the world, as many people as possible. Trump put a travel ban on from China and had a terror watch list ban for any country in the Middle East. So I could go position by position, not to mention, you know, look at Trump fired Comey. Yeah, you agree with that one. Yeah, but what look, kind of establishment look, guy fires the head of look, the FBI look, in, and then has to experience a two year investigation launched by Mueller well, Which and was I, and I, think that, lies. I think that investigation was BS too, but he put okay, in, well, he put in some... Christopher. But he put in Christopher Ray. Christopher Ray right now was protecting the Biden administration. Fair enough. So yeah, that, that, that's he, a fair he puts, point. He puts in establishment people. Here's, here, so, so your argument is purely on personnel. And let me just say this: Donald Trump, as Rush Limbaugh would say, selects personnel that is perplexing at times. But what I think you will agree with is that his instincts and many of his major policy actions were generationally and transformationally against the regime establishment of the last 40 years in both political parties. And, and I, whether it be war, immigration, trade, international type agreements, and understand, he was the only one that was fighting, and these people would come in and they'd lie to him. I'm going to be an FBI director with this. And he will be the first one to say, should have handled Fauci differently, should have handled Burks differently. But you know what? If you want to see Donald Trump unleashed, Wait for term true, term two, Donald Trump, <laughs> to be able to go after the administrative state. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. That was a constructive conversation. Guys, Thank you. What do you think will happen when Trump's win? Like, 
so he, let's be honest. Like, I also believe he's gonna win, and I pray he does. But like, I also believe Donald Trump is someone that is ready to dedicate his life for America. And this is something I love about him. Like, we see a man who is willing to lay his life for America. Like, he wants to make America great, and it's crazy. But like, you can see the passion he has, bro. For me, it's not about the money. For me, I don't think it is for the money or the fame. He already has the money, has the fame. Like, I honestly believe he wants to write history. Like, he wants to make America great again. Like, more like America is going to laugh and stalk now because based on the things that are happening, America is going to be one of the strongest countries there is. And how many wars have started? Like, I only believe that he's, he actually claimed to be able to, like, put end to this war and us having that hope that he can do it because he is Donald Trump. Like, I believe he can do something like that. So I honestly believe we should give him a try. And I honestly believe that he's someone that is willing to lay his life for America. And when you see someone with that kind of love and, like, the passion to do it, like, I just believe that he's going to be able to do something great. But guys, tell me what you think about this. Tell me if you're going to vote for him. Guys, leave your comment in the comment section. Guys, we'll see you next time, guys. Peace.